Air. Chris Howard here once again. And prepare ye self, mateys, for, that's my pirate talk. Uh, and I do want you to know that September 19th, I think it is September, it's either September 9th or 19th. We got to look it up. Now we're going to get a ton of emails coming in saying it's the 9th, it's the 19th. It's uh, the uh, International Talk Like a Pirate Day. I am not kidding. I believe it's, uh, it could be the 9th. Uh, but it's International Talk Like a Pirate Day. So, uh, Avasti, mateys, we'll talk like a pirate here. Um, that was, I don't know if that's an English pirate, a Scottish pirate, or what. But, okay, here we go. Um, I work in sales. Our company, this is the question, right? I work in sales. Our company has a salesperson of the month competition. And although I do okay, I never make the top three. I really, really want that top spot. What can you do to help me get there? Okay. Um, cool question, right? So you want to get to the top spot, never made it to the top spot. Um, it's interesting because I was having a, a, a conversation with a friend of mine and she's been um, hanging out in the uh, professional tennis circuit for a long time. I asked her the question, what's it take, you know, what's the difference between the person that makes it right to the top uh, and everybody else? Because uh, she has a lot of friends that, have, uh, that are playing at very top levels of tennis. And she said, you know, after all this time of touring around and being out there and she had a blog that she was doing on tennis and stuff, she said, I think that more than anything else, it's... Uh, you know, it's obviously the drive. They've got that desire to be the best. There's, there's something out there that's causing them to want to really step it up. She said, but I think more than anything else, it's that ferocious curiosity to know how they can improve. You know, because people's attitudes are uh, different. She said, you know, if you look at the people that are, aren't playing at the top, top level, but are playing, you know, somewhere in the, in the mid range, uh, they, they, you know, their attitude just seems to be different. Where it's like, it, you know, they'll, if, they, if they have a failure or they have something that doesn't go the way that they want or they lose a match, in their head, they're either too egotistical to do anything about it. Like they think, well, I've already got it. And, you know, they're too egotistical or they get, down on themselves, right? Whereas if you look at the person that's doing it, they're so, that's, that's really performing at peak levels, they're asking themselves, wait a second, what do I need to learn? What do I need to learn to be extraordinary at my game? That same person is also, uh, she said, bringing in top coaches, top nutritionists, top people to work with them. Whereas the other person that wasn't succeeding at such great levels was thinking, you know, maybe, uh, there's, there's actually one of, the, one of the patterns that she had mentioned was that they think that they're uncoachable. They're, they're too good to be coached and therefore they don't bring people in. And so they stop taking in feedback. And I think that's the biggest thing, you know, from a performance perspective, like how do you, how do you increase your performance? How do you play at the top level? Well, you go out and you find the top, top, top people, you break it down, you discover how they do what they do. How did they do it? Ask them questions, get in that state of ferocious curiosity. You know, go, if, if you're in the, if you're number four and you're not able to make it in the top three, go to number one and say, how do you do it? What are you doing? Teach me your secrets. Download, you know, create some rapport with them. Become their best friend. Find out how they do it. And, and don't be afraid to ask questions. It's usually when we get stuck in our own box. Einstein said that we're boxed in by the boundary conditions of our thinking. And most people stay boxed into those boundary conditions, but what they don't realize is that they're self-imposed. They're self-imposed because of their, their notions of I'm, I'm too good or I'm not good enough or I, you know, I, don't, I don't need help or I'm not going to go get help or you're weak if you go get help. All of those types of things keep them stuck at a mediocre level of performance. You know, uh, more often than not, when you look at high, high peak performance, it's not a question of capability. It's a question of, do you want it bad enough? And are you willing to do what it takes? And are you open enough? And can you be ferociously curious? I think uh, Einstein said that. He said, I'm not especially talented at anything. He said, I've just got a ferocious curiosity about certain things. So that's your task, should you choose to accept it. So to get ferociously curious, go talk to the best salesperson in your organization and say, how do you do it? Break it down, do the same things, you'll get the same results. You know, um, 
uh, Jack Welch from GE says that the, the rapidly evolving organization, the organization that wins time and time again, is the organization that is a massive learning machine. They can go out, learn, learn, learn from the marketplace, and then assimilate that knowledge and utilize it immediately. And that doesn't just work for companies, it works for you too. Go make it happen. If you have questions, need help with anything, reach out to us, support at rockhouseglobal.com. And until we uh, meet again, Love deeply, shine brightly, make every day an extraordinary adventure.